We just survived a two-day cyclone that ripped through Sicily, and now it's so bright out, I not, can't even get used to it. I have to put my shades on, Al. It was the worst two and a half days, not two days, I've experienced in over 20 years. It's not that it was really raining, but because it was raining, it was the wind. And 45, 50 mile an hour winds coming off the sea. And there was a lot of flooding, there was a lot of destruction, there's a lot of snow in areas that don't usually see uh, snow. Boy, quite a couple of days, thankfully, not much destruction in our house. We did have some uh, leakage, but a lot of people are complaining about the leakage in their houses. And you know something, though? It's, this is February, it's the worst month of the year. You have to have what they say in this Sicilian, Pacienza, patience, because it's going to go. Every day we get up, we get one day closer to spring. spring. By, by All but right. it was bad. It was, it was bad. bad, but we survived that. Thankfully, not many injuries were reported, just some minor ones. Wait a and minute. And also the destruction, a lot of the crops were destroyed. What a difference 24 hours make. There's one good thing that happened the last two and a half days. You know, when it gets bad out, Esther's stuck in the house because we can't go out. So yesterday, listen to this, <laughs> she got the cooking bug, the baking bug, all right? And she was whipping up a storm, of course, with the, f you know, with the heater. Well, I would have the oven on. She That's made the, <laughs> the most delicious pizza in Baked all of rice. Europe. Baked rice. A cake. A cake. It was just unbelievable. <laughs> I was in heaven, even though I was achy, but it was great bun stuff. All great right. job. Let's go to one of the most beautiful and the third largest religious festivals in the world in downtown Catania, the Festival of San Agata. And we were there for opening day ceremonies. Take a look at the pomps and circumstance of this festival. <laughs> Federation of Business and Professional Women. Noi siamo del nostro del nostro comune si chiama Sant'Agata lì Battiavi, la nostra associazione è Bidapa Sant'Agata di Battiavi, quindi molto legata alla nostra santa padrona. E poi Agata è una donna, una donna vittima di femminicidio, con tutto quello che sappiamo, quindi una donna che si è battuta già allora per i diritti delle donne, che è il nostro obiettivo. Noi, I nostri ideali sono quelli, gli obiettivi della libertà delle donne, l'autonomia ed essere indipendenti su tutto, specialmente su arti, professioni e affari, così come dice il nostro, la nostra mission. Bellissima. Adesso... Ok. La giornalista americana vi vuole intervistare. Oh, buongiorno, sono buongiorno. Esther. Bene, bene, prego. Che associazione è e perché siete qua? E allora, il, sono i cavalieri della Mercede che fanno parte dell'Ordine delle Mercedi, un antico ordine fondato a Barcellona nel 1218 da San Pietro Nolasco. A Catania c'è presente questa commenda di cavalieri che svolgono attività di assistenza ai bisognosi. Abbiamo anche una chiesa affidata a noi altri in via Crociferi che è la chiesa di San Camillo dei Mercedari. Bellissima, grazie mille.
i carcerati, gli immigrati, perché tutti aspirino a vivere una vera vita cristiana, lontana dal peccato, profumata. Sto dicendo? E sto raccontando che tutta l'estate Silvio si collegava alle 4 di pomeriggio. Every all summer Silvio is tied to YouTube at 4 o'clock 16 perché? Per vedervi online quando uh, voi facevate i live. To see you, me and Cecily. <laughs> Now this is what we call Dopo super pranzo. fans. See. <laughs> Noi mangia- facevamo dei pranzi lunghissimi. They, they do a long, a long, long a lunch with a lot of chit chat. Dopo il caffè dicevamo, Silvio, sono le quattro. After coffee they say, it's four o'clock, wake up. Oh, yes. You, me and Cecily is coming. You, me and Cecily. This is what we call super fans. So grateful. No! And here is one of our guys. Aspetta. Saludos para Canadá. Lei è di Buenos Aires. De Buenos Aires. Campiona del mundo soy. Wow, she's from Buenos Aires. Che sta facendo qui? In che lingua parlo in italiano? It- Inglés. No, inglés. Ok, italiano. Ok, sto guardando la festa di Sant'Agata con i miei amici. Vabbè, abito qui. Ah, ok, <laughs> mamma mia. This street right here are where all the seamstresses work. And over here they're getting ready for the festa of the Carnevale in Acireale, in Sciacca, in a lot of parts of Sicily. It's a big, big deal. So, if you want to get some uh, clothes made or fixed, this is the street to come. And check out these costumes here for Carnevale. Here we are back at the Piazza Università. And so the people, the groups that you're seeing walk around are associations, different groups uh, representing, you know, you saw the professional women, the police. Uh, there's also the Order of Malta. Imagine today is February 3rd, how it's going to be on the 4th and the 5th. This is one of the biggest festivals, and really it brings people from all over. Over, but it's really great to see also the people of Catania come out, all families of all ages, and the faithful here in Catania are well and alive. So here I am standing with the Catania Press and we are waiting for the carriages to come back into the Comune, which is the municipal building. And there he is. Salute a tutti in America, in Canada, tutti siciliano. Bye-bye. I remember these days getting ready for live shots and people just jumping in front of you and doing all kinds of crazy things. Here's a little hint for you. When they say that the carriages are going to come out at 1.30, it's not going to happen at 1.30. Let me just tell you, it's now 2.30 and they're still not out. Little mini cittadini dressed in a traditional black cap and the white. Hey. Plenty of street foods, of course. 
Buongiorno! Allora, <laughs> cattarelli! Oh, yum! And after a long, long day at the festival of San Agata, Silvio brought me to one of the best arancini places. Simple, delicious. Delicious. Eh, yeah, questa da suco? Yeah, oh, raw, yes. It meat oh, arancini. So, yes, okay, the classic arancini, yes, the authentic arancini is all suco, ragu, delicious. Only you can, you can taste this only in Catania. Trust Silvio. Okay, take a bite. Take a bite. Let's see inside. He said this is one of the best ones. It looks it. Mm. I'm getting over the moon. Oh, over the moon. <laughs> <laughs> Silvio, thank you so much for taking me to the thank festival. You, it was a great day. Thank you very much. Okay, bon appetito. So who was and who is San Agata? She is the patron saint of Catania, and she was born in the third century and martyred in 251. Of course, she devoted herself to Christianity and the Roman emperor at the time, Quintinius, wanted to marry her, but she resisted, 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 and for that, he captured her, tortured her several times, even put her in a brothel, but nothing worked, and San Agatha persisted, persisted. He even had her breast taken off, and they miraculously grew back, and so she's the patron saint of breast cancer, of nurses, of natural disaster, and for so many others. Of course, finally, he succeeded, burned her over coal, and her red dress, which is so iconic, her velvet red dress was used many years later by the people of Catania when there was an Etna eruption. In the middle of the night, the people of Sanagata went and brought her velvet red dress in the foothills of Mount Etna. Miraculously, the Etna volcano eruption stopped. The people of Catania were saved, and so that's how she became the patron saint of natural disasters. Now let me tell you why the cittadini, as they're called, wear those white robes. Why the white robes? Because it was in the middle of the night when there was that uh, eruption of Mount Etna in 1669 that they went out in their pajamas. So a little bit of symbolism. They went out in their white pajamas and now the faithful cittadini, as they're called, wear the white robes. There was a million people there. About. <laughs> about a million people. Can you imagine that, over guys? Two, over a million three, people four days. in an island of five million people. They came from all over. They came from Calabria, Puglia, what are you Lazio. Talking about? All over the world. I heard languages it was all over the world. It was unbelievable, and it's a good boon to economically for the province, that's for sure. Now, let me tell you. So that video, opening day ceremonies, was filmed on the 3rd. The celebrations go third, fourth, and the major one on the uh, fifth. But for weeks before and also afterward, there are things to do and see in downtown Catania. Now, for those planning on going to the festival of Sanagata, let me tell you, it is a mayhem, and that's why we don't go during the main times. I did happen to go to Sunrise Mass when she came out. Of course, we did an entire episode on when she came out of the church, and this is a little bit of what it looks like. <laughs> something for the first time here in Catania. I took the metro, the inner city metro. Of course, I've taken the train many times, but it was quite an experience. We went with Silvio, our friend Silvio, his daughter, and his uh, friend and her friend. And uh, it was a very interesting experience. First of all, the line is just straight, so there's no veering off place to place. And if you want to take this metro to the Centrale, the main train station, it does go there, and it goes to the airport, although that line is was not currently um, open when I was there.
I want to ask you a question. Yes. In your opinion, comparing it to, like, say, the uh, MBTA in Boston, what's the story with the graffiti and the general cleansiness? I think very that clean. It's very clean. Very clean. There's graffiti, of course. Uh, very punctual, for sure. Very punctual. During the festival of Sanagata, they had more um, stops. I mean, more stops. More. Uh, times that the train was coming, I think it was about nine every nine minutes, so it's not always like that. But very clean, very efficient, highly recommended if you don't want to walk long distances from one end of Catania to another. One last question. Yep. In your view, would it be safe for uh, elderly travelers to use? There are stairs to take. Okay. There are stairs up and down, so it's not But accessible. I saw a lift, though. There's an automatic lift that goes up, too. Not in every stop, ah. so something to be aware of. Okay, let's go down the tunnel. Here I am with Silvio and his daughter. Saluta tutti. Hello. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> okay, now we're going to buy a ticket for one euro. And they have English. That looks good. Yeah. Two euro, two euro. Perfetto. Biglietto di 90 minuti. Sì. Conferma. Tre. Sì. Sì. Conferma. Ok. Grazie. 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 There you go. Here's my ticket. Ok. There we go. And I have to get it. And here we go. Grazie mille. <laughs> ah, here we go. Eh, Dove siamo? Noi siamo qui. Noi siamo qua. Questa non c'è però. Noi dobbiamo arrivare qua, Noi però dobbiamo. si può andare anche dalla quella. Okay, so there it is. Here are the lines in Catania. You can take the train to the airport and to other parts of Sicily. Gennaio. Centrale, oh. qua c'è centrale. Stazione centrale, rail, 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 rail yeah. station. Rail station. Go see the festa. I want to give a big shout out to Silvio, his daughter, and our new friend. It was so much fun going to the metro, going to San Agata with them. And let me tell you, Silvio has quite a wealth of knowledge of tidbits, of cultural things that you may not know about. And by the way, he has an Airbnb in Atutrezza. So message me if you're interested in that. I have a couple of announcements before we see the next piece. Is that okay? Go ahead. Uh, first of all, this is before the, the highlight of the show, Quintessential Elfin, which is coming up. <laughs> uh, Esther got a new batch of Trinacrias. Oh, that's right. Thank, Thank you, you so very much. much. Tell they're about available. It. They're available. Sending them out from the United States next week. If you're watching this on February, what is it? After February 13th, they'll be available after February 13th. So message me if you want them. Sterling silver, beautiful. One of our most popular items for sure. And let me tell you, we've been getting great feedback from our merchandise in the shops that you see below. You see some t-shirts. There's a lot of stuff. I'm only displaying a few items. So if you go into the shop, there's about 30 items there. So there must be something for everyone. But our friend Tom wrote me this morning and said that the quality is really, really exceptional. It's a beautiful email to get first thing in the morning. I have one, uh, one quick, another uh, quick another announcement. Quick announcement. I want to wish a shout out to my cousin, Annette, Messina Arizoni and her husband Vinny, who are coming with us on our October trip. On our October trip for their fiftieth anniversary That's celebration. Be special. She's my favorite cousin. Oh. Honestly, when we were in the third and grade, we, we were in the May procession together. In the May. Oh. Yeah, I was a cardinal, and she I'm was like she was like the queen them. or something. She, I think she was the queen. But in any case, she's my favorite cousin. I haven't oh. seen her in. 
25 years practically. And we'll be so continuing Annette, right here. Looking forward to seeing you guys, that's for sure. And by the way, we still have some openings in our October tour, so make sure you check it out on our website, youmeandsicily.com. All right, let's go to quintessential Alfred. You know how cold it is today? I'm going to tell you how cold it is. When we left to come here to have a cup of coffee, I said hello to my neighbor outside, and the words froze and fell to the ground. He had to throw them out to, say what I, to, to see what I was saying. But typically, this time of the year, we're in February right now, this is the dark days of the winter. And by definition, I'm talking about maybe a low of 40, 40 degrees. Uh, but because there's no insulation in the house, it's just concrete and, and uh, reinforced steel, it gets right into your bones. But that's really not what I wanted to talk to you about today. I wanted to talk to you about some lessons I learned, some sayings that maybe you ought to, you ought to think about too. The first one I say all the time, which is this, it's uh, do good and forget it. Do bad and regret it. My grandfather, Gaetano Teresi, taught me that. And it's stuck in the whole family's mind, and that's what we try to do. We try to do good in life. Lord knows that in my previous life, I didn't do any good, so I'm working like hell to get some good check marks on that side. That's one. The other one was my Uncle Joe. He used to say something that I never understood. Now that I'm an old geezer, I guess you could say, I understand it. He said, everything in moderation. Because when you're young and you're full of piss and vinegar, so to speak, nothing is moderate for me. Nothing was moderate. And now everything is moderate. Even when I put my uh, anisette in my coffee, I don't like load it up. I just put like, a shot. Or when I have my cognac or brandy, maybe just a shot and that's it. And finally, I have just two quick other ones. One is uh, I really understand now, living in Sicily here, what the saying goes that goes something like this, that revenge is a revenge is a dish best serves cold. I never understood that until I immerse myself in the Sicilian culture and understand how long the minds are of the Sicilian people. And finally, the last words of wisdom come from my brother Tommy, who I love very much, where he would say to me all the time, Hey, Al, loan me five because I have a $20 bill and I don't want to break it. That's for my brother Tommy. These are my five words of wisdom today. Ciao. All right. Because of the cyclone, our Sicilian project classes in Acitrezza were <clears throat> canceled for one day, but we had some first two classes were really great. And here is sort of what we do. We do conversation English. We also do filling out these sheets that to, you know, just improve their Italian, improve their Italian, improve their English conversation. That's all what's about. It's impossible to teach uh, little kids uh, English, proper English, in 20 hours of instruction. The whole plan has always been to plant the seed so they will, on their own, continue learning about English. And to hear these kids, you know, do fundamental things now pretty well, Body parts, days of the weeks, what else? Really good. The I mean, numbers, a whole bunch of stuff. All time. We have a wide array of ages. And I want to say a big thank you to Stefania, Maria, and Marilena. They are awesome, awesome teachers, and I really appreciate them. So take a look. I love these kids. Are you? I learned yesterday. And what color it is? Very good. What color Can everyone say good morning? Say good morning. Uh, my uh, favorite color. What is your favorite? What is your favorite? 
have a surprise for you for next Sunday. If you watch us on Sundays, 4 p.m. Sicily time, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, next weekend we will have a surprise. Stay tuned. You know, Esther, before we go today, I wanted to give a shout out to my cousin uh, Josephine or Jojo Toscano from Right Way Travel. <laughs> Our May trip is... Is this going to be your cousin shout out? No, no, shout out to... No, who, else? No, listen. who else? Who else? She's my cousin. She's probably the best travel agent in Massachusetts, in my opinion, all right? So our May trip is sold out, okay? We have no spots left on our May trip. And JoJo sent me an email this week. She's coming here for the Feast of St. Alfio with a group, and she is sold out. Ooh. So what are people to do if they want to have information? Well, it's too late for uh, for that particular uh, uh, trip. This is the trip with festival Joe. of the uh, St. Alfred Philadelphia Trinino. In May. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but isn't it unbelievable that there's going to be at least two, our group and Joe's group, going to be at the festival? And I think the reason is, is because in New England, the St. Alfio Festival, which is over Labor Day, is going to be celebrating its 100th anniversary. So people probably want to come here and make the, the pilgrimage here as well as the pilgrimage in the United States. It's going to be me, a great I think it's year. awesome. I think it's awesome. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for spending this time with us. We really appreciate and realize how important you are. So thank you. Arrivederci. See you next time. Oh, wait. Where are my sunglasses? She is a ham. A ham. But anyways, <laughs> cemented ego. Grazie. <laughs>